Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Purbo and with me is Dr. Nanette and we're gonna talk about your heart health. Doctora, narinig ko, 15 years na palang number one killer ang heart disease dito sa Philippines. Yes, Samantha. This started in the mid-90s. Number one killer na po ang heart attack. But it's not just heart attack, but stroke also. When we're talking of heart attack, ito po yung pagbabara ng ugat sa puso. Mm -hmm. When we talk of stroke, ito yung pagbabara ng ugat sa brain. For okay. heart attacks and stroke, no? hindi lahat ng pasyente would have to undergo surgery. Mm. Meron talagang kailangan ng surgery. But there are other treatment modalities na pwedeng gawin na non-invasive na. So you're talking about non-invasive and invasive and surgeries. Yes. But what exactly is the next step for our paralyzed stroke patient? So okay. some of the exercise we usually recommend, lalo na pag nagsisimula, would be the ball gripping, okay, okay. the shoulder shrug, Pwedeng bicep curls to slowly regain strength and then leg raising, importante yan. Uh -huh. And then if your patient can actually stand up or kung pwede nyo silang itayo, mm -hmm. you can start with that. Until that mm -hmm. point in time where they can slowly start trying to walk again. Let's all remember, prevention is always better than cure. Yes, prevention is better than cure. And you know what? Movement is medicine in itself. Yes. Don't forget to stay tuned to our next Heart Talks.